and today is part two of the kettlebell clay and press. So I'm going to show you a couple of variations of how I know how to do it. And I know there is absolutely hundreds, if not thousands, of different ways to do it. to do this and variations and every other sort of workout I've showed you so far. So with that out the way, let's get into it. So like what I've shown you in part one, uh, how you pick the kettlebell up. So basically, you want to make sure your legs shoulder width apart, your feet facing forward. You want to make sure that your chest up, back straight. And when you go down, you want to make sure you sit back on your heels. And your thumb is faced behind, like in between your legs when you go down. So let's do it. And this arm here, it can either be stretched out or behind your back, whichever one is fine. So then we twist up. And then after this, we go into, I'll move a bit further back so you can see. What we do is, we lift up, and then we come back down to the air, and then up again, back down to the air, up again, back down to the air, and then we just put it back, and then we switch hands. There is another way to do this, which is, I think it is quite explosive. So what you do is you go to the exact same position. You know, if you want your arm out, go for it. If not, what we do is we lift it up here and then straight back down again. Up and then back down again. Up and back down again. And that is how you do the two different ones in terms of the press. Everyone wants to do the play down press. That's why I've broken it down into two. So now we're going to go and do the clean and the press. And that's how you do the parallel. So let's, let's do this. So remember. Right. And there we go. And for the other one, and there we go, guys. That's how you do the clean and the press. That's, that's both of them. And the next video will be I'm going to do the Turkish get up, which. Yeah, it is, it is pretty hard. It's probably going to be broken down into four, four parts. Because it is really hard to sort of teach in one, one part. So I'm going to try and keep the content as good as possible. The quality is good. And hopefully I'll be able to get it up for you guys next week. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon.